soin de Jésus, pour guider ma vie. Mon bien-aimé Jésus, il est à moi, j'en suis à lui. Je choisis Jésus, pour guider ma vie. Mon bien-aimé Jésus, il est à moi, je suis à lui. Je choisis Jésus, pour guider ma vie. Mon bien-aimé Jésus, il est à moi, je suis à lui. Je choisis Jésus, pour guider ma vie. Mon bien-aimé Jésus, il est à moi, je suis à lui. En marchant dans les chemins, dans les rues, observant tous les... Praise God. <coughs> We will read. In Luke 2. Luke 2. Starting on verse 25. <coughs> And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And this man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him, and it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. So he came by the Spirit into the temple. Et comme les parents and when his parents le brought Jésus in the child Jesus to do for him according to the customs of the law, he took him up in his arms and blessed God Dieu and said, dit, Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all peoples, a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rising of many in Israel and for a sign which will be spoken against. Yes, a sword will pierce through your own soul also that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. We will speak of God and the time. Oh, time in general, which is a parameter. It's uh, one of the most important parameters. It's almost as important as water. Because we walk, we do things in function of time. Le temps And est souvent lié au résultat. Il est clair pour nous que lorsque quelqu'un roule pendant 20 minutes, is driving his car for 20 minutes, he will do a certain number of kilometers. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes we relate time to the results. Le temps And aux time circonstances aussi, uh, is also related to circumstances. Et quelqu'un qui a 12 ans, who is 12 years old, ans, or 14, ne va pas penser will not think about tellement it. à la circonstance, à l'événement qu'on appelle mariage. He will not be thinking voilà, about marriage. At that time. Beaucoup de circonstances et d'événements sont liés Many circumstances or events C'est pourquoi le temps est très time, important. Des gens qui disent There are que le people who say that time is money because, because when we um, administer money well, we can have better results. Time is also related to uh, <coughs> production. So we measure uh, the production. We, we, we say in 10 minutes, if I make 10 bricks, Efficace que quelqu'un qui produit en deux minutes. Someone who produces ten bricks in two minutes. And it is important, in therefore, in a person's life. But we need to know that the devil will use time 
nous étouffer to, pour nous uh, empêcher try to, uh, de nous empêcher de nous empêcher de nous empêcher de nous empêcher Cependant, Yet, est Dieu qui est le maître God is the master of time and circumstances. We will go to Daniel 2, verse 21 to 22. Daniel 2, 21 to 22. We can start. In verse 20, Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his, <coughs> and he changes the times and the seasons. He removes kings and raises up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. Est très this is very important. Daniel, dit, Daniel said, Dieu it is God who, who et is, is Donc, responsible for time and circumstances. circumstances Sometimes, events and circumstances are in general related to time. The people of the world, they don't celebrate the 14th of July in October or November. So, events and time are related, but Daniel is explaining there is a part that is fixed, uh, which is dependent with people, but, but God is above all that anyway. We'll give you a simple example a little later. There was that the, a while ago, that young man who was 18 years old who had an accident in a plane. This is not what uh, our time uh, planning would have uh, had uh, been organized. We, well, if we would think about an old man who's about 108 or 110 years old, we say, it's okay, he was old. Because it no it's normal that at that age, uh, it, we die. But Daniel is saying that God, he is the one who is above and in charge of time and circumstances. So the, uh, the way we think about time and circumstances can be changed. We need to rest on, upon God, who is in charge of those two things. But because of time, we can say that in, we cannot say that in one month you will, well, we, oh, you can, uh, the doctor will say you can die in one month because of how your cancer is progressing. But Daniel says that God is the chief of all this. So he can make an event that will not correspond to the, to the time or circumstance. Maybe we predicted that you would die in one month for sure by this doctor, but God will have the last word. This is what Daniel was telling his king, because Daniel was saying he was in charge of the times and circumstances because we trust in him and the results will be uh, positive because we do trust in him. Today, we, we would like to speak about, uh, about time because we need God's peace. Because someone who is not uh, quiet about the time factor in his life He'll never have peace. He, he will find time too long or too short uh, related to the, the, the activities in his life. That's why we need to come into God's wisdom to understand and, um, and to manage time. Uh, there was a brother in Morocco. He said, Pastor, I don't know why. No, he said, Pastor, 
we're a, eternal, aren't we? Uh, uh, Christians as we are? Yes, because we have received uh, everlasting life. And then he said, so why are we in a hurry? Because we are eternal. We have all the time before us. That is someone who understood and has come into the true conception of time, according to the Bible. He said, well, since we're eternal, why are we always in a hurry? We have all our life, but Satan will be behind to say, oh, it's been a long time that you have this car. It's, it's been a long time you have this or that. And he'll put pressure, and he'll try to make you hurry to, Agir dans la to uh, do something quickly fort, and to make fait, mistakes. When we do things quickly, we erreurs, can make mistakes. And he will use a time factor to make us believe that the time is too long or that the time is too ben, short. Just that, or just one hour suffisant. to do that. that. I don't have enough time for that. Et and others will say, oh, it's been years that this de là, nous event troublés. has been going on in my life, Et it's too long. Troublés, and when we are troubled, we, we are uh, vulnerable to all kinds of temptations. When Jesus came to his disciples, he said, peace be with you to his disciples. Because when we have peace, that's when we can hear God. But when we're upset, we, we listen more to the enemy and we make mistakes, great mistakes. We need peace. To have this, we need to abandon ourselves, who is the master of time and circumstances. He will know how to counsel us. He will know how to calm us. Just that little exhortation. You know when we arrive in Morocco, at the beginning, we are well, and after, we find time very long, because uh, sont restreints uh, et en même temps the... retourner dans ton pays d'origine c'est un peu difficile because it's difficult to go in and out of the country when you're in the country. So we find that time is long when we're there. And that's why this brother got this revelation. He says, why are you in a hurry? People who are in the Occident are always in a hurry. And if you live 25 or 50 years in Morocco, or someone else lives 40 years in, in France, well, that person in France will die anyways. But some people become impatient. It's made. It's been 10 or 15 years that I've been here. Even if they are pagans, that if it's, if it's them, we can understand because they have no hope. But a child of God must consider that life has started the day he met Jesus. Life did not begin when he will have his house or whatever. Life starts the day that you met Jesus. That's when your life started. And life is beautiful for, starting from that day. But when we start planning all kinds of things, or I'll be well just when I'll have this, or that, and that's a, a trap. And, and, and then you start saying, oh, well, that thing didn't happen yet. Oh, and, I, and you get upset because it hasn't happened, and we make mistakes. We, we must understand that, beloved. Life has started already, beloved, the day when you received Jesus. And you have succeeded your life at that instant. You are now happy. You have God Almighty with you. Don't wait uh, a certain day that we will give you marriage marriage or something else, La guérison, or a healing, ce que là, tu vas and, être heureux, and that will be the day you'll be happy. Terre, no, there'll be là. another problem that will uh, arise, and time will be uh, used to upset you again for some other reason. This is our conclusion today. Today. Uh, today is the day I want to be happy. It's not in function of certain events or whatever. I need to uh, find Jesus deep in my heart. That's why we gave the example of Simeon. Simeon, when we read, it is said that, that he was already old. We'll come back to Luke 2. Luke 2, Luke 2, starting by verse 25. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And this man was just and devout, 
waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. So he came by the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law, he took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation which you have prepared before the face of all peoples, a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. We, we tell us that Simeon was old. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel. And this man, we don't know how long he waited. But we know that he is old, and he says it also, now let your servant depart in peace. It means that, that he probably waited a very long time, but he, he waited with trust because the day that it had happened, the Holy Spirit spoke to him and that you're going to meet the Christ. And he came in the temple area and he saw the parents with the baby and the Spirit said, it is that baby. And he went towards the child and the Spirit held on him and he started to prophesy on the child. We take Simeon's example to say, we need to trust God and have a real intimacy with him every day. Simeon waited that God would do a great uh, miracle so for his family, Israel. He was waiting for the king, Messiah, the king would come and deliver Israel and that it would be sent by God and that he would live it. He wanted to live it. And his, his expectation was so strong that God promised him that he would see it before he would die. You will not die before seeing this. But when Simeon said, leave your servant, uh, go in peace, it, me it means that Simeon was close to death because he would not have said that. So he considered that it was time to go, to die, because now he had seen the Messiah. But how much time had he waited? We do not know. We just understand that he was uh, advanced Alors, in, in age. So, today, what is killing us? Résultat. It's the logic of results la du and the logic of production. Vient the enemy will dire, disturb us and he'll say, de la retraite, you're close to retirement and, and what are you saving right now? The enemy will come and uh, disturb us and he'll say, you're getting older. What real job have you done? Not much. And then we're upset and we start living our life no, not in, in function of uh, God's divine presence. We start living our life in a start, in a, a, like in a race to a triumph over time. And it, it's true. I have, I have this age, and I haven't started my ministry yet. I don't preach yet. I, I don't have my own church yet. And I put pressure on myself. I'm not singing yet. And, and we always said that I had the ministry to sing. And then we, get, we start getting nervous. And the door the doors of, uh, uh, of pro problems start, impatience, uh, depression, because Satan is playing with time to tell you that you have made, a, uh, you have, a, you failed. 
Smith Wigglesworth, who started his uh, ministry when he was 48 years old, but, but uh, from 48 years old until 50-something, he did more than some people who worked all their life. It is not, uh, yeah, it's just to remind us that God is in charge of time and circumstances. God could do with you in one year and with, and with something that somebody else would take 20 years to do. So don't let yourself be destabilized by time. And, and the enemy can say, oh, time is passing. There's not this, there's not that. No, God is the master of time and circumstances. He knows what he's doing. The most important is that every day be the day that the Lord has done. And may it be for me a subject of joy. So, that, that, that young man was 18 years old and he died in the plane crash and because God was in charge of the circumstances in time. Like we said, to go to Paris, it's about two hours to take to get there, but we may, we may have a meeting at 11 and leave at 8 and not be there on time because there's all kinds of problems on the road that are blocking us. That's why it is written that God is the master of time and circumstances. Oh, time only alone is not enough. We need God. We need to be in him, to be sure that we will arrive and Simeon even if he was old, he, he was a righteous man, a devout man. It's not the one who never sins. It's the, it's the one who trusts in God. He trusted him and he was waiting with assurance. We don't know how long. It's just to exhort us to be able to let God take care of his things. We will go in Acts, chapter 1. Acts 1. Acts 1. Verses 6 and 7. Therefore, when they had come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom of Israel? And he said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has put in his own authority. There. The apostles were saying, Well, is in those days that you're going to reestablish the kingdom of God with these events? And Jesus just reminds them that these elements are under God's control. Sometimes we've uh, tried to make people accept Jesus for years and years and years, and they don't convert. And one day, without any influence from someone else, and that person is conscious, is uh, touched, and, he, and he, the Holy Spirit is working through that person, and they, they come to Jesus. It's God who's in charge of this, but when we want to control these things, God, Jesus is saying to his apostles, it's not for you to control these events. That's how, that's why many people were prophesying uh, falsely about the end, the end times. In 2012, he had said that it was the end of the world. And then they said last May, and it didn't happen because the times and circumstances belong to God. No man can uh, uh, do anything about it. Jesus said, it's not our concern. Those are, this, it's God's concern. We need to learn this. And, and Ephesians 5, 16 says to buy time, which means to not waste it. But it's, it's not our good use of time that will force the events. We can utilize it well, time, 
ne pas obtenir les événements selon nous, mais obtenir les choses selon Dieu. According to what we want, but it will be according to God, what God wants. Pour obtenir un doctorat, we can take 15 years to get a doctorate degree. La veille d'obtenir son doctorat, and before he received the day before. Uh, he got his doctorate, dit, God told him, and he complained que, to God euh, that when he would rien, preach, touchés, people were not touched, euh, when he Dieu, would do God's work, the spirit wasn't working. Et le Seigneur lui and the Lord told him, moi, it's because, travail, uh, de it's because I don't, the God told lui him, he said, well, I don't need a doctor. Moi, je fais 10 ans, and the man said, the man of God said, well, I did 10, 15 years to do a doctorate, and you say you don't need a doctor? Oui, and the Lord said, you chose, if you want to serve me, I'll train you. I don't need a doctor. I don't need you to be a doctor. I need you, but I don't need you as a doctor. Je ne pas dit que, je ne veux pas I, dire que I'm not saying that doctors cannot serve God. Donc une it's a, it's entre a personal les story between that man and God. And that servant of God, yeah. Vous voyez que les temps you see, ne sont pas forcément producteurs d'une are not necessarily événement. productive of God's work. Mais lui, il aimait beaucoup le but he really loved the il Lord. He preferred to miss his doctorate Et le avec and puissance. serve God. Donc, il a mis tout son temps pour so obtenir son he took doctorat. all that time to receive his doctorate and he never received it pas not parce because que le the time did not work it's because God is the master of time and circumstances disent, ah, so, some people mais say because they're getting older that they're useless who told you that you're, you're useless le temps est déjà the le, time le, le, le affilé je suis devenu time has flown faux. Le Seigneur peut that is wrong. Tout le monde. God Tant can use everybody. Vivant, as long as you're living, God has a plan with you. You know, many have neglected that. I know someone who was 74 years old. He had a dream. And in this dream, non seulement qu'il avait 74 ans, he was 74 mais il était aussi old, But he was also sick. Mais il fait un songe but he made a dream where, where a great man in white who had a beard, brillant, uh, br uh, who was shining, brought him desert, somewhere in the desert choses, and explained things to him and told him, je, je vais te I, I want to use you. Le temps est long. And time is long. A chose à faire. There's a lot to do. Mais à cet homme, ce I explained que to that man, ans, it's not because Dieu you're 74 que le temps that est court. God oh. will tell you that time Dieu is short. God is almighty Avec lui, with him. In a short time, he can do many things. Many things. And he can even make Dans your life go longer. Because if you start doing today uh, what God wants and live for, for God. And that man neglected this and he died soon after. He called me to have Have the, uh, that he had this dream, but he neglected this. There are conditions. You need to accept to walk with God. And he didn't give himself completely in God's hands. But when God appeared to him, he told him, the time is still long. And I laughed when he told me this vision. Because I had seen him physically, and I said, oh, time is still long with him. Là que compris and then the, that's when I understood Avec Dieu, that with temps, God, there's still things to do. Avec Dieu, nous des and with God, we will do exploits. There are still things to do. Ans, when you're 74 years old, 74, and God, God tells him time is long. Dit, ben non, y a plus de temps. And that man Mais said, no, que I don't have much time manger, dormir, et And I need just to la, eat, sleep, sleep and, and, and wait God's ah, coming. Non, and and no, you're not in God's will if you think like that. Le Seigneur a dit, je the ne Lord said, I'm le not Dieu the vivant. God of the dying, I'm the God of the, the, the living. Le temps est encore là time is still there for God to accomplish his promises in your life. Wake up. Le temps est encore là. Time is still there. Simeon, était déjà Simeon à un âge, was mais old, il était conscient but he was conscious that the time was still there because God had told him through the Holy Spirit that he would see jour. the Messiah, so he still waited with determination. Et je te dis aussi And I tell you that time is still there. Tu ne dois plus you must not 
look at your at your watch. Tu as des you have many objectives. Que cela est know that these things are possible. Ce faut faire, what you need prier, is to pray, la voix de Dieu. listen to si God's le voice. Confirme, If the Lord confirms, know that the time Continue is not passed. Continue to wait like Simeon. Le temps et les the time and circumstance belong les to gens God. Se de toi. People are mocking you and they say that the time has passed for you. Dieu est encore no, that's false. En contrôle et il le God is still in control and he will do. En lui. Et so trust in him. Nous prenons Galate 4, 4. Let's go to Galatians 4.4. 4. Galate 4, 4. Il est écrit. It is written. In Galatians 4, 4, au verset 4 de Galate, chapitre 4. Mais lorsque But when les temps the fullness ont été of the time had Dieu come, God fils, sent forth his son, born of a woman, loi, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, that we might receive voilà, the adoption as sons. Euh, écrit, This is what is written when the time had been accomplished. You know, there's another thing that si Satan can do, that toi, if things don't happen for you, it's that you have a problem si with God. If toi, things aren't happening, it's that you're not praying enough. Si si if things aren't toi, happening for you, la faute, à toi it's, seul. it's your fault, only your fault. Possible. It may be true that de nous. Est and it is possible Mais souvent, ce but sont des often these are false accusations le temps just so that we may want to control time which will bring us to failure Quand le nous, but nous attaque comme ça pour when dire, notre this faute, Satan says it's our fault we need to really Parfois, examine ourselves faute. sometimes it's not our fault it's just that time has not yet been accomplished it is written when accompli. the times had been accomplished Donc, when God il avait had, déjà planifié. Had, had been arrived and the time had come Pour which he had planned to accomplish this promise of the coming of Jesus. He had waited that for that. Nous, on a pas fait What dans la de have we done in Paris to produce uh, the, uh, 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 an awakening? We fasted jours. for 40 days, for 20 days. We did seminars, uh, the particular seminars with us, uh, people that would come. Réveil. But there was nothing. There were no results. It is written, when the time had come, it's not our prayers that will change God's time. Quand il s'est âgé de la fin du monde, old Jésus leur a dit dans Actes said, des Apôtres que nous venons de lire. Acts that which we have uh, just read from one, le temps appartient uh, from six à Dieu. The time belongs to God. Vous ne pouvez pas décider que demain c'est la fin du monde. Même si vous priez, sans manger pendant 50 jours, ce n'est pas vous qui Without eating for 50 days, you're not the one who will decide. And the enemy will push you and make you feel guilty and finally and will try to make us control and then we will feel guilty. It's because you don't read enough or pray enough or you didn't do this or that and all that to make you think. So I'm the one who decides of my future. But the Bible says that, is, that it is God who is in charge of the time and circumstances. And you start fasting and praying not to humble yourself before God, but to impose time uh, on God. And that's the trap that can happen. And you want to control The, the, the time. Dieu veut qu'on utilise bien God le temps, mais ne veut pas qu'on contrôle uh, tant wisely, circonstances et qu'on uh, utilise have any on ces choses-là telles que ça nous est posé. À chaque jour suffisant, et quand on commence à vouloir contrôler, on est en train de sortir things, de la volonté. Et on se retrouve dans des difficultés Lisons problems. Let's read. L'histoire d'un homme qui s'est retrouvé dans la difficulté, 1 Samuel 13. Ah, uh, in 1 Samuel 13. Un Samuel 13. 1 Samuel 13. À partir du verset 8. Starting on verse 8. 
Then he waited seven days, according to the time set by Samuel. Who waited? Saul. Saul. But Samuel did not come to Gigal, and the people were scattered from him. So Saul said, Bring a burnt offering and peace offerings here to me. And he offered the burnt offering. Now it happened as soon as he had finished presenting the burnt offering that Samuel came, and Saul went out to meet him, that he might greet him. And Samuel said, What have you done? Saul said, When I saw that the people were scattered from me, and that you did not come within the time, the days appointed, and that the Philistines gathered together at Michmash, then I said, The Philistines will now come down on me at Gilgad, and I have not made supplication to the Lord. Therefore, I felt compelled and offered a burnt offering. And Samuel said to Saul, You have done foolishly. You have not kept the commandment of the Lord your God, which he commanded you. For now the Lord would have established your kingdom over Israel forever. But now your kingdom shall not continue. The Lord has sought for himself a man after his own heart, and the Lord has commanded him to be commander over his people, because you have not kept what the Lord commanded you. Amen. So Samuel saw, told Saul, you wait for seven days, and I will come back, and I'll do the sacrifice, and then you can go to war. But Saul waited the seven days, no problem. But on the seventh day, the, the soldiers were starting to sca be scattered and go home. So Saul was telling himself, if I let them do that, Mais je serai dépourvu uh, I won't have Comment any army. Combattre? So how will I, I uh, Alors, fight? Il fait? Il force so le temps. he forced time Then the circumstances. And, and, they and, he, and he transformed himself as a, uh, as a priest. And he made the sacrifice. Samuel and Samuel, Samuel arrived at this time. And he said, what did you do, Saul? You're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed. You're not, allowed. You're not, you're not a priest. You're maybe a, a king, but you're not a priest. But you, you see, look, the people were leaving. And, and Samuel said, no, I gave you the order to wait. And you know why Saul behaved that way? Because we are humans, and, and we're always relating time with results. Time must produce results. And after the seven days, and he wanted a solid army uh, at this time. But after the seven days, seeing that his army was being decomposed, everyone was going home, he trembled, he feared and made the mistake of his life, and he played the role of a priest, and Samuel said that because of that, God takes away your royalty, because you don't obey God. How many times? People want to control time and force things, events, because the events don't seem to be coming. Many make the mistake of their lives at this time. Saul made the mistake of his life because he wanted to force time, force the events. Let, uh, let God be God. In his time, what he will do. He is the master of time and circumstances. In Ecclesiastes 3, there is a time for everything. God has a time for everything. Mostly when we be furthermore, when we become children of God, we can be sure of that. Our our part is to, to remain child of God, to remain servant of God, and the rest, he has planned everything. He only had a few hours to wait. But he cracked. Someone who waited seven days, he, f he, f he cracked for a few hours because of his logic uh, to have results. I waited seven days for results. I have the impression that if I waited a few more hours, I will not have the results. So many, because of a few hours, uh, because of a few days, a few months, and then, well, they Maybe the, the husband was coming in three months. 
but you went and, and precipitated things and found someone else. Maybe work was coming. But because of your impatience, you went and took something else. And, and life became complicated because we see the, the tree as, uh, at its fruits and life is complicated. It's probably because the person took the wrong way because of impatience and soul was impatient and he found himself in difficulty completely. And as a pastor, we often uh, see these problems with couples who many got married too soon and have difficulties. And then it's very complicated. You need time, the time of God to be accomplished. And when it comes, the things are precise. And he protects us and he takes care of everything because it's his time. Saul so did not want to do that. He wanted to impose himself. He wanted to control. And it finished bad, badly for him. Let's make an effort, beloved. Let, a, let us uh, not be affected by this and destructed by the logic of our results. You know, we have brothers and sisters in China, in uh, Saudi Arabia, in Ethiopia, in Eritrea. Maroc, in Morocco, in Algeria, in Algeria bref, dans les pays and où les sont in, in many en Corée countries, the, in, in North Korea, in many countries where there's a lot of persecution, and sometimes they're in prison for 10 years. Il est pasteur, the il the, the person's a pastor. He did not want to... Uh, he did not want to obey to this order of not preaching, so he's in prison. So maison. the church stops in his house, but, but according to our logic, we can say 10 years in prison. What, what, did, what was the use of that? I'm in prison. Maybe I can convert a few people in prison. But if I was outside, maybe I, can, I would convert 100 or 200 people. This Chinese man, did, uh, he was in prison for a few years. 20 years, yeah. His children are already married. His life, what was the use of it? God knows what it served for. En tout cas, ça a servi and, à faire des gens comme moi, and made people like me, servants of God. Alain when Yuan, I, when Alain Yuan, Yuan, he was a man, par la grâce de Dieu, by the grace of God, reculer. who will help me not to Parce walk back. Because I have predecessors that are worthy of real fighters, real warriors Sachant for God. 20 years in prison. He didn't even know how his wife would eat, but because of the name of the Lord, you know, in, in human logic, you'll say, well, what's the use? That time served for something because it's God's time. And it produces maybe warriors that will be stronger and do many things for God. When uh, Etienne died, he was making miracles, he was preaching with efficiency, so why did God uh, allow him to die? Because it was God's time. It's not with human rationale or human logic. And when we continue to read the story about Etienne, Stephen. And, and then there was a great champion that Paul came after Stephen, Paul. And he partici participated to the killing of uh, Stephen. He was touched by all this. And finally he converted and did more than maybe all the apostles together, all put together. God knows what he's doing. Let's not rush things. Let's not be uh, trapped in, 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 in a bad logic. Oh, I did 10, 15, 20 years of prayer. But God has heard your prayers. And you will see, Simeon waited. There. Another element is that, so why is uh, uh, God answering now? 
quand il a reçu l'exaucement, il était proche de la mort. Answered, Humainement uh, was answered. He was humanly speaking close to death. And we can say, I asked this 20 years ago and I'm getting it now. So why? Que Simeon posé cette question? Did Simeon ask Pas himself that question? Not at all. Il était dans la he was, he was just full of joy. The joy of the Lord. Maintenant. Now. Pourquoi Simeon ne se pose pas cette why question? Did Simeon not ask this Pourquoi question? nous on est embêtés so de recevoir we, 20 ans après uh, asking ourselves these type of questions? Parce qu'on est dans la logique Because de « je veux que les choses se passent quand moi je logic, suis fort. Um, » of I want things when I'm strong aussi, je and I want to participate je, je in that. De ça. And I want to take advantage of this specific uh, thing. Mais But Dieu est dans la logique but God is in the logic Il veut of, nous faire bâtir des choses of, éternelles. Uh, des He wants us to build eternal things. One problem uh, between in parentheses is Afrique, uh, uh, in Africa is the problem of uh, heritage. Les gens n'ont pas la mentalité de the laisser people, un héritage. The, the people over there do not have the mentality of leaving heritage to Donc their le children. Papa, So the father, when he knows he will die, he sells half his uh, parcel of land. And, then, and he finishes almost like only in a, in a room. So when, so when the parent dies, the child has to start over. And we say, we say, we say there's poverty in Africa, but it's also because of this heritage. In Occident, we see people, he doesn't like his child, but he dies and he leaves his, his house to the child. So the son starts a life with his, with his house, with his father's house. But in Africa, the, the, the The father will leave, uh, will keep uh, everything he had that was old. It's because of spiritual reasons where people want to take advantage of things when they're alive. Some people do not want to put the nice uh, wallpaper because uh, it'll be uh, used. The poulet is lui-même in his ventre. Donc, But il he prefers to have the chicken, bonne peinture, a good... Il se fait un très bon plat pendant instead, he makes himself a really Là, good meal with chicken instead of uh, si putting the nice bon wallpaper bon on the wall because he wants to live in voilà, the here and now. Carreau, ben, ben, tout le monde qui va marcher dessus. La logique. And le he doesn't want to put a nice profiter. floor in his house because he wants to take Dieu advantage personally of things. Civiles. And he doesn't want his family to take advantage. Mourir, so the, but we need Donc, to have the eternal logic. So choses. these things is are what make us die. People want to take advantage of things personally. Simeon just saw, but he did not see, he didn't see the Messiah when uh, the Messiah was doing his ministry. He just saw him as a baby who could still not do anything yet. But he was content with that. That baby would do exploits one day. And he knew it. And that is sufficient for me. He had joy. And he said, well, moi, je m'en vais, I'm going, mais le travail but the avec work ce petit là, with this little, va, little one, it will really Alors be a success. Part, and and pasteurs, we have seen pastors, I don't know from which uh, African country, they establish en another pastor and they say, I, esta pas oh, I establish you pastor, but I want you to know that you will not pass us, you Tout will not surpass us, all that, que que because vivant, that uh, while they're still living, they'll be the best, the strongest, the chief. No. La Bible se the Bible je, says, you know, Samuel a when Samuel established a David as king, he was, a, he was a child. He Samuel said from that, from that moment, Samuel respected him as king at that, at that moment, even if David was a child at that time. So, Before he was established he king, David was a child. But, but Samuel saw him and he said, you are the king from now on. And Samuel just did not think about the fact that he was a child when he prophesied on him. And this is one of the problems that people, that are always uh, related to, to time and age, and, but these things belong to God. 
God can use someone who's 18 years old. He can use someone who's 20, uh, 60 years old. The time and circumstances belong to him. Oh, we must not say. It's, it's never too late. Simeon didn't say, well, it's too late. I see this baby, the time he gets uh, to be an adult, I, I won't see. No. He saw it in the spirit. He was in the, log uh, the eternal logic. We need to have that mentality. So maybe in my time, I will not see certain things, but I want to work on onto these things. I work on eternal things. God is faithful. And he will do his work. Let's not be of those who say, well, we waited for many years and I'm close to death. Well, I will change our orientation. No. No, we need to continue in the same uh, mentality. We want a change in our country. Everything that we have received in our communion with God, we need to believe that, that he will accomplish these things. We need to have our heart that is intact. We need to hope in him. We must not look at the times and circumstances because God is in charge of those things. We must, we must just keep our faith. It is important. Our beloved kept their faith in China. They kept the faith. In, in, in India, everywhere where, where Christians went, our Lord will work. He is the true God. The Jews were persecuted everywhere, and they kept the faith. We read the word every time uh, they, they, they were delivered by their God because they, they believed the time and circumstances belong to God. What we need is to keep faith every Every day to have that faith that will God will work. Let it, don't look at your age. Do not look at your age anymore. Just, just look at yourself as a, a servant of God. It is the time for you. It will not come too late. The day that Jesus came into your life. It's a time to work for the Lord. It's not tomorrow. Don't say, so, you know, sometimes there are people who say, uh, we tell them to wait, and they say, why? And we say, well, it's not your problem, just wait, it's, it's God's work. That's why you need to learn to be patient. It doesn't mean that you're inactive. You have an intimacy with them. You can do things in the meantime. You just need to be humble to say, well, God will do in his time. In 1 Peter 5, 1 Peter, 1 Peter 5, verse 6, we can start in verse 5. Likewise, you younger people, submit yourselves to your elders. Yes, all of you, be submissive to one another and be clothed with humility, for God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, and he may exalt you in due time. Humil uh, humble yourself so that he may raise you in, in his time. Don't try to control uh, things and try to precipitate things and say, why am I not preaching yet? Why am I not doing this or that yet? But if God called you, he will do it in his time. Just wait. Humble yourself. Don't force things because if you force things, you will lose your faith. You will, you will just diminish in your faith. I often heard people say and call me, Pastor, things are not moving. I say, no, that's not true. It's, it's not going at your speed. It's not going according to your logic, that's all. With God, it's like the, the seed that we sow. The plant will come out. Maybe you want it to come out in five days, but it'll be in ten days. But it will come out. We want things to go fast according to our human logic. I, we've been waiting in this uh, region and we've been waiting and working in this region and that's human logic. God knows what's going on. The things are 
underground. But while you're praying, God is working. Just be conscious that when I pray, God is working. I don't need to see to believe. When, you take, when you're conscious that I pray, you will always be happy. But if you're waiting to see, you will be you'll be happy only the time uh, the time that you'll see things and then you will suffer a lot because if you suffer a long time you'll lose your faith and your prayers will not be answered and you'll always be happy we need to be happy that we prayed we need to be happy that we did what our part was done when Samuel anointed David he was happy because he accomplished God's mission he, he accomplished the divine and mission. He and he knew that David would be king uh, on the throne. He was happy. But he did not see David do all types of exploits. But a bit of time after, David did do uh, an exploit by uh, killing Goliath. And Samuel said, ah, I did the right thing. But if he had not uh, uh, believed and not anointed him, he would not have seen that. He would have disobeyed God. He anointed according to God's commandment because God is in charge of God's commandments. And sometimes we start worrying and, the, and it's not our problem. It, just to God's will and, and, and his will is for us to pray and to obey and when God says to do something do it at that time if you have to preach preach if you need to talk talk and if there's nothing if there are no instructions we pray and when we pray we are conscious that God has worked and we are happy and we wait the next uh, moment and we'll pray again and we are happy God has worked and that is how uh, Mark 11 24 will happen everything you ask in prayer believe that you have obtained it and you will see it accomplished but when we pray, if, if we're looking at our watch and we're, di we're, we're disappointed, then this will decrease our faith and then we will not receive what we have prayed for. Let's, uh, let's be aware of all of what we've spoken about today. Let's be at peace. Let's do our part and allow God to do his part. Many have been troubled. Uh, the the insinuations of, of Satan. Oh, time will catch up with you. You won't be able to accomplish these things, everything that you had in your heart. Those things are false. Oh, you don't have the time to learn English. Next year, oh, if I had started last year, in, or if I had started in 2015. Oh, now it's too late. Oh, 2017. I should have started in 2016. And, and on and on and on. And then you'll be 2035 and you still, you'll be saying if I had started the, um, the English course or gone to England. You can still learn English today. You can still do what you wanted to do. You still have the conviction. Time belongs to God. If we have <coughs> stopped people and we have told people, oh no, there's no more time. Time has flown. No. If the Lord puts something in your heart, do it. You know, when David wanted to build the temple and God said, no, it's not you that will do it, it's your son. So David collected money and uh, jewels so that Solomon could build the temple because David could already see that temple in spirit. Let's uh, enter that dimension. We're, we're building things for eternity. So let's accept uh, to do our role every day. It's very important. Like the people who build houses, you know, there are people who come at the beginning when uh, it's the foundation that's being prepared. And they'll come in two years and they'll see the building. And they just came and did the foundation. But if they were only looking at the foundation, maybe they wouldn't do it because it's almost nothing. But it's necessary for the rest of the building to, to, to be built.
that is necessary. So God uses you today. It's important for the rest that will be done. Maybe, maybe God is using you at the, be at the beginning of something. It's people who will come afterward maybe come and bring uh, the rest of the parts, the end of this project. Le moins utile. And though Les they might bring the, the less, uh, the less useful things, là, those who did the real work are not there anymore. Lampes, but these people les, in the les afterwards les will les might just come and bring the uh, furniture and the lights. Cette -là, it's not au moment de mettre les choses who les moins utiles, uh, qui est le plus valeureux. The one who has mo the most value in John 4, he said, I send you where you have not worked. I send you to reap where you have not worked. We want, we want to be uh, receiving the fruit, and we neglect that there are people who worked before. And the tree, the, the, the tree we see it growing, but they're the ones who put the seed in the ground. We don't want to be in the place of the person who puts puts the, girl, the seed in the ground. We want to just go pick up the fruit. But things aren't like that. God has given tasks to everybody in a certain way so that no one will be glorified. Everyone contributes to this construction. It's good, because if someone sees everything by himself, he will glorify himself. So God has uh, placed people, dispatched people in all kinds of ways. And we might see the end. Somebody might be seeing the beginning only, but at the end we will rejoice to have contributed in something God wanted. Because the one who did the foundation, and he'll say, he'll say, ah, there's the building that we, we built, but he might just have uh, uh, put the foundation or painted the walls or whatever. Let's accept that God uh, imparts uh, something on us, a mission on us. Let's, let's accept and do the work that God asks us. What God asks us is, is to do what we need to do carefully. Let's use time carefully to pray. Let, utilize time to serve the Lord. Utilize le temps comme il faut, Utilize mais ne cherche pas carefully. à contrôler le temps. But don't try to control it. Ça s'appartient à Dieu. Because that belongs Quand to God. When you will use time carefully, God will utilize you regularly, a lot, because you will be in communion with God. You will realize that you are producing fruit, but in appearance, maybe there's nothing, but you know because you're in intimacy with God. And Simeon uh, only knew that the child was the Messiah because he was in communion with, with the Lord. And this communion is uh, strengthened by the fact that we accept things. We continue with Hebrews 11. In Hebrews 11, those who had faith, uh, Hebrews 11, verse 14, we'll start verse 13, Hebrews 11, 13. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, were assured of them, embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. We're, uh, we're strangers and uh, pilgrims on this earth. We're building eternal things for, for the Lord at this time. If we, don't, if we don't see these things, well, praise God anyways, because we're just contributing to God's uh, plan. Verse 14, for those who say such things declare plainly that they seek a homeland. And truly, uh, if they had called to mind that country from which they had come out, they would have had opportunity to return. Turn. But now they desire a better, that is, a heavenly country. Therefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. By faith Abraham, when he was tested, offered up Isaac, and he who had received the promises offered up his only begotten son, of whom it was said, In Isaac your seed shall be called. So they, they saluted from far off. It's, that's why Abraham, by faith, offered Isaac, because he could see the resurrection by, uh, from far. So we need to be people who see from afar. Let's do things and see afar. And it's, it's possible in our intimacy with God. 
God will show us. You know, there are times I say to my collaborators that the Lord has showed me, showed me that he will touch this person. Even that person shows an, an impression of being angry or something. And in a few months, we see that person having baptism or, or be participant uh, in, in church because the Lord is showing us. And, uh, that, and he shows me that I did a certain work. But, he, but, but we're not going to force that person because the Lord already showed us that he's going to do it. But when we have an intimacy with him and we know that certain things are already settled, so we, we take care of other things. But we need every day to, to be happy in this communion with him, to seek his face through his word by reading and having the same vision as him, the same projects as him, and that's how in this communion we were happy. And in your time, and the best time is now, 2 Corinthians 6. Today is the day of salvation. It's not tomorrow, it's today. So that you can do uh, an alliance with him today, a covenant with him, because he's the master of time and circumstances. And we will accomplish his, 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 his will for for his uh, happiness, and it'll be for our happiness to have obeyed him. Today, we must uh, give ourselves to, to our Lord and let him, let the Lord take care of us. Roman 8.28 will contribute to your goodness. There, everything comes to good to those who love God. That so now, all these times and circumstances will come for your good. Know it, you. He's just asking you to participate, but not to hurry up, but just to do your part, to obey, to accomplish what God asks you, to pray, to, to, to cry out to God, to manifest his vision through your prayers. That is how. His glory will be manifested because he is faithful. He will never lie. He will accomplish his word. Let's trust in the Lord. And from now on, let's tell the Lord, I will let you take care of me. And I trust that I will see your, your glory. In the name of Jesus, amen. May God help us. Nous prions que tu nous aides à t'abandonner les temps et les circonstances, à ne pas chercher à les contrôler, à ne pas chercher à les précipiter, à ne pas chercher à les mesurer même, mais à faire confiance au fait que les événements sous son contrôle, tu agiras selon ta volonté, tu agiras selon ton temps. Car lorsque les temps furent accomplis, c'est là que le Messie est venu. Ce n'est pas en, 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 en fonction seulement de prières, mais c'est en fonction de ton planning à toi, Seigneur. Aide-nous à aimer ce planning, à ne pas croire que le nôtre est le meilleur, parce que le nôtre obéit qu'à un, une logique de résultat. Le nôtre obéit juste à une logique de rendement. Mais alors que ton plan à toi obéit à ta logique de salut, d'amour, de vérité et de justice. Merci Seigneur. Alléluia. Au nom de Jésus. Merci pour ta présence au milieu de nous qui nous donne la paix. Nous avons besoin de cette paix. Choisi Jésus pour guider ma vie. Mon bien-aimé Jésus, il est à moi, je suis à lui. Je choisis Jésus.